Hi everyone, it's James here from Production Expert, back with a gear review with a difference. This time you find me not in fact on a desert island, but I'm at Jigsaw 24 in the heart of London, Soho, in the kind of the mecca that is post-production here in London. Uh, and I have in front of me a rather lovely new iMac Pro. And we're going to do the Mac Pro power test on it and see what this latest version of Apple loveliness can take on. Now, most of you know that these days I've gone over to the Windows platform and my incredibly fast, souped up, all singing, all dancing, HP Z840 workstation. However, the opportunity came out to try one of these uh, and here we are. So let's dive in and get up close and personal on the new iMac Pro. So Pro Tools is already open and we have our standard Mac Pro power test running. Just so you get some idea of the specs of this machine, this is a base level unit. 3.2 gig Xeon Intel processor, uh, 2017 model, obviously. 32 gig of RAM, um, Radeon graphics card. It's the base spec. Now at the moment, you can get a base spec machine from those lovely folks at Jigsaw for a smidge under five grand, including the VAT. Not a cheap machine, I think you'll agree. However, where things get interesting is when we start to run Pro Tools on it. So let me show you the setup. We are running with core audio, no external hardware. We are running from the internal system drive, which I know you shouldn't do, but this thing has a one terabyte flash storage card inside it. We are down at 64 samples. We have our standard 128 channels of audio, and we have 256 channels of boom. 256 channels of boom. That's a lot of virtual instruments. Now, it has to be said, yes, that boom is not the most up-to-date um, all singing, all dancing of virtual instruments, but it is our standard test, which we've run on Russ's Mac Pro, my MacBook Pro, my pimped Mac Pro cheese grater. It's the standard test. Now, thus far, I don't think I've been able to run all 256 channels of virtual instruments at 64 samples. Watch this, boys and girls. We're up at 69, 70%. The load across all the processors is pretty good. We're not touching the memory, you know, not a great deal. We're really not hammering the disc. Absolutely incredible. I've never had this response from a machine before. Uh, I'm impressed to say the least. Yeah, there was no point in going through the process of winding our way up to the full spec. You can't have any more instrument channels than this. The maximum instrument count for Pro Tools HD is 256 instruments. Just to also let you know, of course, we are running the latest version of Pro Tools, 2018.3, as released within the last couple of weeks. Okay, so the next thing we can do is start applying let's face it, one of the next most thirsty plugins, and that's 11. Uh, 11 Mark II plugin, the guitar effects processor. Uh, let's run in five of those to start with. Okay, 50%, 60, 71, oh, it's climbing a little bit, 73, 4, Yeah, fine. So there's eight 11s. Eight 11s, sounds mad. Still climbing. Okay. We've run out of juice. Pretty impressive specs. Let's just bring it back one because, hey, if we can, if we can get seven out of it, we'll know the limit. Mm. 
yeah, I think that's pretty stable. The graphics card is um, struggling a little bit with this lot going on, but hey, graphics is not our main concern as Pro Tools users. Um, now, we know there are a thousand different plugins and there are a thousand different heavy lifting plugins. Um, Dan put an article out recently about the top heavy lifting plugins that he's aware of. Um, but this is our test. This is our benchmark test, if you like. Uh, and I think the new iMac Pro passes with beyond flying colors. I don't think we've ever had a machine that will run 256 virtual instruments uh, on top of 128 channel strips, 128 D-verbs, and seven 11 Mark II plugins. Pretty impressive in my book. So there you go, there is our Mac power test of the new iMac Pro, the base model. Yes, there are plenty of other thirsty, heavy lifting type benchmark tests out there, but this is the one we've developed, this is the one we've used on all our recent machines, to be totally honest. Um, let us know what you think, let us know if we could tweak the power test in any way, uh, or if we've missed anything, I'm pretty sure you will. But for now, my name's James Ivey, and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk.